Hey guys, it's your boy Oma Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video. And today, and actually, well, let me fix y'all real quick. Uh, right, there we go. And finally, he's been teasing this for over a month or so. Probably or so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we're gonna be reacting to Schoolface John YouTube rap to J. Paul diss track. Now, he, he's he been talking about it for almost like for probably almost a month now or so so correct me if I'm wrong but he promised that with this one in his first one he did from like probably a year ago or so I haven't heard of it but he said that from the first one was great and such but this one he's gonna be talking some some real stuff that's going on so which right now Jake Paul so and we saw a little and as he sent a little preview of it on my Instagram but it's like I was coming from work so I didn't get to he I didn't want to ruin it for me so I want well it's like this I'll be honest with you I saw a little like snippets of it from the video and saw but I wanted to get my foot and I didn't want to hear no audio of it and so and so so I watched the video where he sent me two of them but one I was playing music when I was coming home so and the way how the video looks he got a he got somebody to play Jake Paul alright so it gonna look like he's gonna talk in some real stuff so hey man we about to check this video out so well, let me do something here Sorry about that, I was confirming something on my phone, but like I said, we about to check this video out. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Got, you got them all tied up. <laughs> Wake up, boy. Rise and shine, princess. Wake up, nigga. Get up. Yeah. Um. <laughs> hey, here we go. You know what time it is when they hear that shit, bro? Yeah. yeah. Stunt. Stunt. Gotta talk to the community for a second. You did. Oh, it. It's about that time again. YouTube rap, too. <laughs> yeah. Lord. Oh, my God. I got it. I say yo. <laughs> now that my part's done, it's time for the secret ingredient, bruh. Go. Oh, wow. I killed Jet. Hello? Yo, bro, what up? Man, I got this new fire, but I need your special touch. Where are you at, bruh? Man, you can't just finish it by yourself. All right, man, here I come. All right, bro. I'll see you later. <laughs> for all right, for that little part there. So, Jake Paul did a song, Fresh Out of London, I'm guessing or so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he, yeah, I think it was Fresh Out of London. Fresh Out of London. Fresh Out of London, sorry. And people were saying and there was a lot of speculation about did Jake Paul write that song or not so like he got a ghostwriter and so and so but eventually he himself in a way ratted out himself and so so basically he was talking about how why that's about how they're coming up for that song and in a and he might have just snitched, except snitched himself out. Like he said, me and a friend on a on his brother's podcast and so forth. Basically, it's like this: when it comes to Jake Paul, we all know he's got. You know, to me personally, in a way, he's leveled up since his everyday bro thing. 
So, and for goodness sakes, you got Gucci Man on it, and it still sucked. But it's whatever. Go. Lord. It's my decision, you walk with niggas can stop the chasing Or stop the bleeding, they cock and squeeze, ain't nobody waving Rap is my savior, it gave me paper, I bought my freedom And I got my peace like it's a piece of the garden of Eden I'm from a culture where if you're spoken, you gotta mean it Word to your ghost, face a killer, feds got you for treason Before you niggas turn bitch and start jogging and twin I just thought that we should talk since I got you this evening It's fucking wild in jungles, they'll call your bluff it and cut you down Survival meant learning to smell a liar from a country mile I fucking hate it, some niggas is basic some niggas is racist, some niggas is fake a relationship Cause it makes them pay for We came back with the flame tracks and it was black But if they shoot, would they kill you A kill <laughs> a real rapper Let me preach like a real pastor Help this place turn to real platters He for real mad the real ones just join the chat Sorry to cut you off How the hell he made it this far? Ain't no luck involved I might have to spin on a nigga And it's under bars Guess it's just a YouTube rap I'm just like fucking dog Hey, YouTube rap is YouTube rap YouTube rap is YouTube rap. YouTube rap is YouTube rap. YouTube rap is YouTube rap. Look, I'm making soldiers, they baby soldiers, they taking over. The labels hate us cause basically they can't take our culture. Without these vultures, we had to go and just fucking get it. Now they approach us, look how the credit done turned to leverage. Get it? I'm only staying with my G's cause some of y'all are creeps and new Shane Dawson every week. If they want drama, then step to me But if they really want to test, this can turn to the SAT Cause bitch, I'm back on, don't take it as a diss It's just a rap song, but I might make one every year to address the platform Not a content cop, more like a content shop To show you dogs, it's more than vlogs, this is real hip-hop No big guapo gift shop could ever sell you the feeling of tearing the ceiling Last year you wasn't letting the building, it's different When you hear that screw do snap and all that said Thank God for this YouTube rap My Bro I'm sorry if I'm not saying nothing, but it's like this. When it comes to school, man, whenever, whether, no matter what song it is, bro, he always snaps on it. No matter if he's remixing a song or he's making his own song and all whatever. He always snaps. So, trust me. And trust me, he's been, he said some real stuff there, like, a lot of the... A lot of the labels be wanting to sign with the guys now, but they don't want to do that because it is, no, not like that. I meant to say like some of the labels out there can't take how they are, can't take the independence, like the artists with independence because they can't stand it. But now all of a sudden now the labels want to, and so on and so forth. It's like this, if you, it's like this, if once you go independent and you're making your own money, no 50 this, no 50 50, whatever. If you're making your own money, bro, it's like this hard work, man. It's you just you're gonna succeed no matter what. Sorry to cut you off, how the hell he made it this far? Ain't no luck involved, I might have to spin on a nigga And it's under bars, guess it's just a YouTube rap I'm just like fucking dog, hey, YouTube rap is YouTube rap YouTube rap is YouTube rap YouTube rap is YouTube rap and By the way, I want to say one little thing for, for people who don't know or people who already know, it's like this no matter what you call it, YouTube rappers or whatever, rappers from YouTube or whatever, whatever, it's like this. At the end of the day, these YouTube rappers, they make way more fun and more banger songs than some of the mainstream ones. Heck, Schoolface, heck, even him, he got a song with, he got a song with Tech 9 Tech. And the thing is, the and it, and don't to think of it, think about this. The only like mainstream rapper who's like hanging out with the who is like hanging out with the YouTube rapper scene or so is Tech Nine. You don't see any other mainstream rapper missing. You don't see any other like mainstream artists or so trying to develop with the YouTube rappers. 
Only Tech 9 you would see. So, it's like this. At the end of the day, the YouTube rappers, trust me, they're the ones who are going to succeed. I'm counting on it. Like him, you already got a song with Tech 9, bro. That's just going to prove you up more far. So, shout outs to him, bro. VSOP, no checks, so nigga, I'm skating. Even though I'm faded, I can still see your ghost like hell with rings. I guess I'm fine. Nigga, I'm fine. I can still see your ghost. Bro. Jake Paul. Don't do no more songs, bro, because at the end of the day, dude, everybody gonna know that you had a ghost writer. So, no matter what song you try to put out, bro, it's like this. We all know that you, are a, you have a ghost writer. Because there's no way in heck. What the lyrics it's like this no matter what you say about spending a lick hitting the brick or whatever and so and so bro it just don't sound good when it, it just don't sound right when it's coming from you it really don't so don't put out any more song cause right now people are gonna know that you have a ghostwriter just why you think school knows it now Shake me, I'm the rap game, and you ain't gonna change me. I get annoyed with fans to be like, screw they dissing you. Then I be like, how many subs they got? They be like 62. Then I be like, how many views they got? They be like, should a few. Like, how you even heard about that song? Because they mention you. The shit is rude because them fools are already getting out work. And now they out hurt, cause they careers are on the outskirts. You need me to say your name on a song. I know how pop works, but baby, this is gravy. I'm wavy, I can't get out surf. Example, you ain't supposed to light every candle and load of luck, so never battle no solar system standing. If you get it, then I thank you. If you don't, I should shame you. But the shots that got me thankful, cause I'm laughing to the blank. For real ones, just join the chat. Sorry to cut you off. How the hell you made it this far? Ain't no luck involved. I might have to spin on a nigga. And it's on the boss. Guess it's just a YouTube rap. I'm just a fucking dog. Hey, YouTube rap is YouTube rap. 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 Wiseman for playing fake Paul. Sorry, there in case 04. Kill Jasper. Bro, man, it's like this. Once again, Screwface John with nothing but another banger. It's like this. I did. All I gotta tell you is this. The more, the more music that school always puts out is the more that people are going to start realizing that this YouTube rap scene is not just some underrated thing or so. Trust me. It's going to grow. And sorry if you see me looking down. I'm just texting somebody. Damn, sorry. sorry about that. So, but it's like this. At the end of the day, music is music. No matter what type or so you put it into at the end of the day once the music has an impact on something it's gonna change how the whole rap the whole music industry look how Eminem came up he was when he started when he started came coming out people thought of him like this whole crazy drug drop and so and so why well, think he has a like a his slim shady character but it's like this, whether he's Eminem or Slim Shady, the end of the day, the ma no matter what, no matter if he's rich or whatever, he still would, he still cares about the culture because he's always thinking about the rappers that came before him. Like some of the rappers he listened to before he became a GOAT, one of the greatest rappers of all time. So, it's like this, at the end of the day, once a, the, if the music doesn't change the industry, well, that's like this. If the music, if one particular music, like a, one particular song or so, 
talks about the entire subject and all, trust me, then you know stuff is going to change. But it's like this. That's the end of the video, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's been your boy, Humble Ziggy, signing out. By the way, keep hitting that subscribe button, guys. I'm on right now at the time of this recording. I'm on 82 subscribers. Welcome to 100 subscribers. And trust me, I want to do something special for 100 subscribers. Whether it's silly, funny, or whatever, I want to do it. But like I said, it's been your boy, Humble Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego!